The features described in this video require EverWeb version 3.9 or later. Please support this channel by clicking on the like button, subscribing, and hitting the notify bell to stay up to date with all the latest EverWeb videos. HTML tags are like heading tags in that they can be compared to headlines and titles that you see in online or physical newspapers and magazines. EverWeb's HTML tags include heading tags, but also let you define paragraphs in addition to headlines and titles. Search engines use these tags to help categorize websites for search purposes. For example, in my page you can see an article displayed. At the top of the page is its headline or title. Below the title is one of many subheadings and paragraphs. Subheadings are useful for breaking up long articles into smaller, more digestible parts. They can also make the article just easier to read. Subheadings also help search engines further categorize the page for web searches. Prior to EverWeb version 3.9, you would use the included heading tags widget for categorizing headlines and subheadings. As of EverWeb 3.9, you can now categorize headlines and subheadings, as well as paragraphs, without having to use the Heading Tags widget. Start by highlighting the headline, subheading or text that you want to tag. Next click on the Text Inspector in the Inspector window. Use the HTML Tag field to choose the level of heading tag that you want to use. There are 8 levels to choose from. The levels indicate to search engines the importance you want to assign to the text you have selected. You do not have to choose any level for the text on your page if you don't want to. If you leave the level as auto, EverWeb will determine which levels to apply when you publish your site. If you want to manually apply tags yourself, you can do so. There are six levels of heading tag to choose from for your headlines and subheadings, H1 to H6. We recommend that you only use the H1 tag for the most important title on the page, for example, the page title. You should also only have one H1 heading tag per page. An H2 tag is typically used for subheadings on the page, so you can have one or more of these per page. The H3 heading tag would be used for sub subheadings, and so on, down to H6. Typically, a page in your site would only have one H1 heading tag and a few H2 heading tags. You may have some H3 tags, but it is not recommended to use H4 to H6 tags, as this will not benefit your SEO. If possible and appropriate, Try to include your primary SEO keyword term in your main heading. This is not obligatory and should not be done in place of your main title if it is not appropriate to do so. Similarly, you may also want to apply an H2 heading tag to your secondary keyword term. Again, only if it is appropriate to do so. Sometimes you may find it better and more appropriate to place your secondary keyword term into your H1 heading. If this makes sense, then do so. The last level is P, which is for paragraph. It is recommended to use this only on paragraphs which you want to especially highlight to search engines, for example, summary paragraphs. Remember to try not to beat the system by adding a dozen headings of various levels just to have your keywords everywhere. Search engines are much smarter than this, and there are many other factors that go into SEO rankings. If you do adopt such an approach, it will not do anything for your SEO rankings and could prove to be detrimental.